Austin's big music festival on the water is over, and crews have spent the last week cleaning up from the mess out at Aquapalooza. Well, besides breaking down stages and vendor booths on Lake Travis, buoys and anchors were removed from the water by event organizers. KXAN's Jacqueline Inglay spent the morning with Lower Colorado River Authority inspectors while they did their last sweep of the lake. The party is over, Brad Paisley is gone, and cleanup should be complete. Lower Colorado River Authority inspectors spent this morning making sure of it. We're using side imaging sonar to uh, look for any uh, anchors or any other debris that was left here during the uh, water event that awful blue so. Tens of thousands of people showed for the music festival, leaving behind lots of trash, all of which was picked up by event organizers. But returning the lake to pre-concert conditions is the Lower Colorado River Authority's goal, and to ensure quality, they're digging beneath the surface with this special sonar machine. Side scan imaging uses two precise beams that shoot down on either side of the uh, boat underwater. It acts like a flashlight. Cowan is looking to see if any of the 150 anchors used to create a makeshift parking lot to help boats park were left underwater. All should be removed by now, and the test he's running at different locations and depths shows that's the case. So far, I haven't found no anchors or any other big debris under the water. Everything looks normal, nice smooth bottom. That's music to the ears of LCRA officials who spent months preparing and planning for this event. If you drove by it today, you would have no idea there were so many thousand people there just a week ago. Cowan says should they find any anchors later in the week, event organizers will have a few days to clear them from the water, but he doubts that will be the case. On Lake Travis, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News.